In this video, we will learn about what is the purpose of break statement within a loop. We can use the break statement to exit a loop without execute the loop body further. I will show you with an example. Here I start some for loop. Here I use some range. 1 to 10. In this loop, I check some condition. If variable i become 5, I want to exit the loop. So here I simply use the break keyword. Now after that, I print variable i. i equal to, now print the value of this variable i. Now place a statement after the loop. statement after loop so we can check the program output so here the variable i print from 1 to 4 when i become 5 we exit the loop without execute it further and the next statement will be executed so now i will show you how to use the uh, break in a while loop so here I start some endless loop. Now create some variable that is of string type. Now create another variable that is also string type is continue that is also string type. Ask the user to enter the first number. So the user enters some number. I read that number into variable number one. Now ask the user to enter second number. And the second number save into variable number 2. Now print sum of number 1 and number 2. Number 2 equal to so here number one and number two is of string type so we have to convert that one into integer so number one two int plus number two dot two int okay. now ask the user whether he want to continue or not do you uh, want to continue Uh, enter y or n uh, read it into variable is continue and here check condition if is continue equal to uh, small y sorry small n or is continue equal to capital N. In that case, we have to exit the while loop. So we can simply use the break keyword. We can check the program output. So enter the first number. Now enter the second number. Do you want to continue? So I want to continue. Yes. Enter first number. Enter second number. Do you want to continue? No. So in that case, the loop exit. So this is the use of a break statement in Kotlin. 